Welcome to the Flip and Twist demo video. The Flip and Twist is a new product by IET Research that brings a couple new features to the holding pattern computer market. Let's take a closer look at it. As you can see, at only a quarter inch thick, the Flip and Twist is lightweight and handheld. It features a groove right here to help easily snap it into your favorite kneeboard. It also comes with a lanyard that will keep it from falling to the cockpit floor. Most importantly, the flip and twist can be used for both left and right holding patterns. It has two faces, so you can switch between them with just the flick of a finger. For the rest of this video, I'll go over how to use the flip and twist to quickly and easily establish your holding pattern approaches and calculate the necessary headings to fly them. Keep in mind the same flip and twist process used for the right handed holding pattern that will be shown in this video can be used for left handed holding patterns as well. To start things off, I have here a typical flight map with a holding pattern in the top left corner. I'll just zoom into that holding pattern. We can see here the oval that represents the holding pattern, as well as the VOR station and radio that establish the holding pattern's location and orientation. Alternatively, we could have an intersection on the radio, but throughout this video I'll be using a VOR point and radio. To decide what kind of holding pattern approach to use, we draw an imaginary line 70 degrees from the holding radial through the VOR point. This line splits up the area around the VOR station into three distinct areas, each denoting a different type of holding pattern approach. The direct approach, shown here in red, the teardrop approach, shown here in blue, and the parallel approach, shown here in green. And here I have the flip and twist, set to the right-handed holding pattern face. On this face, we can see the corresponding oval, VOR point and radio that we can see on the map. All I need to do to establish the three different holding pattern areas and their related headings is to align the black holding pattern radial to the one on the flight map, like so. The easiest type of holding pattern approach is the direct approach. Any aircraft that is approaching the VOR station from the direct approach area with a heading within this highlighted range must fly a direct approach. For example, if I am an airplane like the one on the map, I can use the flip and twist to quickly establish that I am in the direct approach area with a heading that corresponds to a direct approach heading. To fly a direct approach, I'll first fly to the VOR point and simply join the holding pattern directly. Slightly more complicated is the teardrop holding pattern approach. Any aircraft that is approaching the VOR station from the teardrop approach area with a heading within this highlighted range must fly a teardrop approach pattern. For example, without making any changes to the flip and twist settings, if I'm an airplane, like the one on the map, I can use the flip and twist to quickly establish that I am in the teardrop approach area with a heading that corresponds to a teardrop approach heading. To fly a teardrop approach, I need to follow this red dotted line shown on the map. I'll first fly to the VOR point. Once there, I need to fly the heading shown by this line here, in this case, 65 degrees. I'll fly that heading for one minute, then I'll make a right turn to join the holding pattern. Most complicated is the parallel holding pattern approach. Any aircraft that is approaching the VOR station from the parallel approach area with a heading within this highlighted range must fly a parallel approach pattern. Again, without making any changes to the flip and twist settings, if I am an airplane like the one on the map, I can use the flip and twist to quickly establish that I am in the parallel approach area with a heading that corresponds to a parallel approach heading. To fly a parallel approach, I'll follow the red dotted line shown on the map. I'll first fly to the VOR point. Once there, I need to fly parallel to the holding pattern by following the heading displayed by the black radial line, in this case, 95 degrees. I'll fly that heading for one minute. After that, I need to make a left hand turn to cross the black radial line and join the holding pattern. 
I make that turn by finding the heading displayed by this red line here, in this case 205 degrees. And that's all there is to it. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching.